Okay guys, there's the uh, next little installment here. I got this thing up to uh, uniform 320 grit finish. This is a little bit of true oil from Brownells. And uh, I don't know if this part's true or not. I There's a gunsmith from the town I grew up in. And he uses this stuff and he told me that the heat from your body and the friction and everything and I would imagine maybe some of the oils in your skin I don't know that kind of helps work this stuff into the wood which makes sense so anyway I got a little sanding block and uh, 500 grit paper this is sort of a two steps forward one step back sort of thing because when you first put the oil on it is of course got a real bright wet sheen and that's not going to last while I'm doing this because this is working up a little bit of grit on the surface as well as driving a lot of this into the a lot of the true oil into the the wood itself now these are um, couple of the sanding blocks that I like for handle sh <coughs> shaping and finishing. They don't work any miracles or anything. I just I get bored easy. Sometimes I just randomly decide to make a new sanding block or something. And certain applications I just like having a specific block for what I'm doing. So I'm not trying to win any awards for having more sending blocks than the next guy. Um. Now I'm sure it's probably not showing up on the camera, but this is really working that into the koa. And a lot, <coughs> you just I get a better sheen with it. Um, you know, so there's no. It fills all the pores, and of course that's a, a gun stock finish, so it, you know it, it does add some sheen to the, the final product. At least I seem to think that it does. Just keep working it like this. You know. That's I said that's 500 grit right there, and pretty excited about it because it's starting to pop already and normally this stuff doesn't really pop until you know for me up until like 1200 so anyway uh just got to work my way around the handle and that's that's uh that part thanks